CataractCoach.com, how to perfect your capsular axis. At the end, don't pull centrally, but rather continue the curve. Let me show you what I mean here. So we're going to poke into the lens with our forceps. You can see a little bit of zonal laxity and capsule being a little bit on the looser side. But we get in there and we start our axis and we spiral it out to the size we want. So I'm measuring there, getting a good mental picture in my head. How big should this rexus be? This is a younger patient, and I've got to make sure that I have a beautiful caps rex here. So I continue it, keep going, and we'll bring it around. And the key is going to be at the very end here. Now, here's where your temperature just pull centrally and be done. But don't. Continue the curve. And look at that edge there. We want to continue that little, tiny little edge to make it as perfect of a circle as possible. That's better. Big difference there. Here at the end of the case, I just want to show you putting the eye well in the capsule bag and to show you what the eventual size of the capsule axis is. Now, of course, this lens has a six millimeter optic, so you'll easily be able to judge the size of the capsule axis. Of course, we want to have that capsule axis overlapping the optic for 360 degrees, and look at that. That's a nice looking rexus. So again, the key there is to avoid that widow's peak. If you look at an eye at this stage where you see the caps rex, if you could see that one widow's peak, in other words, where you brought it in too soon instead of continuing the curve, it still will overlap the optic. It'll still be a fantastic result. The patient will still see great. In fact, arguably, there's no difference. But come on, you're passionate about this stuff. You're like me. I have to make it as perfect as possible. I just have that obsession, that compulsion to make this look just beautifully. And there you go. Look at that Rex's overlap. We've got the EDOF lens centered up beautifully. Let's show you another case. Here's another case now. Going with the forceps. Going to go start right in the center there, poking in, getting our Rex's started, and bringing it around. And we'll grab it again. And sp I'm spiraling it out to the size that I want. And once I have that size, I'm going to keep that size. And notice how we pivot in the incision. So grabbing it here and pivot, 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 keeping it that exact size that I want. And the key is going to be at the very end to don't pull centrally now. No, no, no. Finish continuing that curve. And there it is. And that's how it's going to be perfectly round. Here at the end, we'll deliver the lens. And we can see in comparison to that 6 millimeter optic, you'll see this is a, a uh, capsule record that's beautifully round and overlaps just right. So I like the outcome there. This is all, again, part of the perfecting your technique, making your signature as pretty as possible. Remember, every ophthalmologist or optometrist who looks at this eye any time in the future, 5, 10, 20 years in the future, what are they going to see? They're going to see your caps rexus, and they're going to see your incision. So make both of those as beautiful as you can. They're also going to see, of course, centration of the lens. So here you can see another EDOF case. So these lenses, whether it's a trifocal, a bifocal, EDOF lens, these are very, very, very sensitive to centration. And you do want to line up those Purkinje images. And you also notice that the caps rex that we created is centered on the Purkinje images or the visual axis. It's not centered on the geometric center of the lens capsule because that's not where we're going to place the lens. And here at the end, look at lining up that first and fourth Purkinje images, and that is just about right. So let's review that one more time. Let's go back to another case here, showing your caps records. Here's another one, different patient. So starting off measuring, that just shows me where I need to make it. I poke in, start the rexus, and here's where I'm going to spiral it out to get the size I want. And now continuing it at that desired size and bringing it over, and then again, trying to make it as round as possible just to have a perfect result or a beautiful result here. So continuing it here. Now, here's the end. Don't pull centrally. Rather, continue the curve. Nice looking rexus. Let's show you one more time. This is going back to the first case that we showed you. Again, poking in the center here. And this is, again, a cap that has a little bit of laxity to it. And we'll poke in, start the rexus. Now, it starts off smaller than we desire. And that's okay. So here's where I spiral it out. So I measure again. I'm getting a good mental idea of what I want. Spiraling it out. Now that I have the desired size that I want, I'll continue that curve. Continue it. Keep it going. Bring it around. Notice all the pivoting. The trick is the pivoting. With the pivoting, you can create the better axis. And now don't pull centrally, but rather, say it with me, continue the curve. So grab that little edge there and continue it. And that looks beautiful. Anyway, give it a shot and thank you for watching. 
Thanks for watching these videos. And remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.